भज हुरे मना श्री नंद नंदना अभय चरणार बिंद रे दिस इज ए सॉन्ग कंपोज बाय गोविंद दास ए ग्रेट पोएट एंड वैष्णव इन द भगवत गीता इट इज सेड दैट इफ यू हैव योर माइंड कंट्रोल देन योर माइंड इज द बेस्ट फ्रेंड बट if your mind is uncontrolled then he is your greatest enemy so we are seeking after friend or enemy both of them are sitting with me if we can utilize the friends of the mind then we are elevated to the highest perfectional stage but if we create mind as my enemy then my path to hell is clear therefore gobind das thakur is addressing his mind the yogi is try to control the mind by different gymnastic process that is also approved but it takes a long time and sometimes there are failure in most cases there failure even a big yogi like bishamitra he also failed what to speak of this tini and nonsensical yogis so gobinda das advises that you just engage your mind in krishna consciousness then mind becomes automatically controlled if the mind has no chance of being engaged in any other business except krishna consciousness then he cannot become my enemy it is automatically my friend that is the instruction in the smad bhagavatam savai mana krishna padar vind king amuris he first of all engages his mind on the lotus feet of krishna so similarly here also govinda das thakur he is asking his mind my dear mind you just engage yourself to the lotus feet of abhaya charanar bind that is the name of the lotus feet of krishna abhay means fearless if you take shelter of the lotus feet of krishna then you immediately become fearless so he advises my dear mind you just engage yourself on the service of the lotus feet of govind vaja hure mana sinanda nanda He does not say Govinda. He addresses Krishna as the son of Nand Maharaj, because that lotus feet is fearless. You will have no more any fear from the attack of Maya. I have got to enjoy so many things. How can I fix up my mind on the lotus feet of Krishna? Then Govinda Das advises, "No, no, Durlava Manava Janm." you don't waste your life in that way this human form of life is very rare out of many many thousands and millions of birth you have got this opportunity durlabha manav janama satsang therefore don't go anywhere you just associate with pure devotees tarahai bhava sindhu then you shall be able to cross over the ocean of the signs or if i engage my mind always in krishna then how i shall enjoy my family my other perfectly the govind das says edhana jovana you want to enjoy your wealth and your youthful ages edhana jovana putra parijana and you want to enjoy the society of friendship love and family but i say ithe ki ache paro titi di do you think that there is transcendental pleasure in this nonsense thing no there is none it is simply illusion e dhana jau mana putra parijana ithe ki ache paro titi re dullav manav janam sange tarah e bhava sindhu शीत यातप बात बरीशन ए दिन जामिनी जागिरे बी फले से बिनो कृपन दुर्जन च 
Chapala Sukha Labo Lagire. Govinda Das is reminding his mind, you have experience of your material happiness. So, material happiness means ultimate goal of material happiness is sex life. But don't you remember how long you can enjoy this sex life? Chapala, flee carry. Say for a few minutes or moments, that's all. But for that purpose, you are working so hard. Sita eh? don't care for snowfall, don't care for scorching heat, don't care for torrents of rain, don't care for keeping night duty, whole day and night you are working. And what is the result? Simply for that flickering, momentous enjoyment, are you not ashamed of this? So, sita yata pa bata varishana e dina jamini jagri. Dina means day and jamini means light. So, day and night you are working so hard. Why? Chapala sukha lava lavile. Simply for that flickering happiness. Then he says, e dhana jo vana putra parijana ithe ki ache paro titile. There is no happiness actually eternal happiness, transcendental happiness, in enjoying this life or this youthful age or family, society. Uh, there is no happiness, no transcendental happiness. Therefore, komala jala dala jivana talama. And you do not know how long you shall enjoy this life because it is tottering. You are on the tottering platform. Just like there is water on the lily leaf, uh, it is tilting. At any moment it will fall down. So our life is tilting. At any moment it may collapse. We may meet by chance any danger and finish. So don't waste life in that way. Vajaha Haripada Niti Re. Be always engaged in Krishna consciousness. That is the success of your life. And how to discharge this Krishna consciousness? He advises. Savana kirtana smarana bandhana pada sevana dasare. You can adopt out of the nine ways of devotional service anyone. If you can adopt all of them, that's very nice. If not, you can adopt eight of them, if one adopts seven of them, six of them, five of them, four of them. But even if you adopt only one of them, your life will be successful. What are those nine methods? Savanam kīrtana, hearing from authoritative sources and chanting. Savanam kīrtana, smaranam, memorizing, bandhanam, prayers, Sabanam kīrtana smaranam annam pāda sīvanam offering service to this lotus feet and as eternal servant pūjana sakhijana or just try to love Krishna as your friend ātmani vedana or give up everything for Krishna. That is the way of devotion and service and Govinda Das is aspiring after that. Krishna consciousness is